16-year-old Nicholas Lindsay faced a judge for the first time this morning, just hours after police say he made a tearful confession, admitting he shot and killed St. Pete Police Officer David Crawford Monday night. There were dramatic moments in court this morning as his father pleaded for forgiveness on his son's behalf. We have live team coverage. Bill Logan spoke with Lindsay's mother, but first, Ashley Glass is live in Pinellas County with what happened in court this morning and what's next. Ashley? Hi, Dan. Once all of the formalities of a first court appearance were out of the way, we were quickly reminded we are dealing with a child here, just a 16-year-old. His father stood up in court today not to defend his son, but to say he was sorry for his only son. Accused police killer, 16-year-old Nicholas Lindsay looks on, bleary-eyed, just a few feet from his father, who is struggling through an apology. On behalf of me, my son, I tell you, family, he said, I deep so so sympathy to the family. And it's a colleague that he worked with. Smart on his part, and I'm sorry that it happened. Nicholas bears his father's name and stood quietly as Nicholas Sr. said, I'm sorry not only to Officer David Crawford's family, but to the entire grieving St. Pete community. All of those people uh, are gratified to hear your comments at this most difficult time and at the start of what will be a long journey. A journey still undecided if it will be an adult or juvenile court. That is a question for the state attorney. Nicholas Sr. has just one final question for the judge. Yeah. I can't do that. I can't do that. Nicholas Sr. realizing a few feet is as close as he will get to his only son, accused of murdering an officer for a while. And the judge said he expects this case will move through adult court, but the state attorney's office is weighing that out right now. And until we know, 16-year-old Nicholas Lindsay will stay locked up at a juvenile detention center. We are live at the Pinellas County Courthouse this noon. Ashley Glass, ABC Action News.